What's up, people on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, this is what I do every morning. I break down the stocks that I'm looking at for today and how I traded them. Now, for better or for worse, I break down, you know, how I traded for today, what I did, my mistakes, how I could do better. There's always a way I could have done better. I am seeing every day, so I break that down for you guys so hopefully you guys can take, uh, my mistakes and maximize on them all right so real quick if this is your first time viewing the channel you should subscribe to the channel if you want to follow me on you know how I do this every day I do it a video every time that I trade so Friday I didn't do a video because I didn't trade okay jumping straight into EDSA here it popped up on the uh, on the scanners early morning I saw it here early morning here that was gonna do a couple bounces around this area here around the four dollars area it might just keep trending down low but it ended up catching some support here and luckily I was able to see it in time got in a little high here at 627 jumped in and jumped out here at 737 around that area there it got bobbled up here and was making some wild moves here. Was just selling half my shares and then sold the other half of my shares in the average around 737 there. You can see here it made another nice bottom here. Could have picked up some more, held in there, set your five percent loss and never touches it. I missed out on this big play here, a nice thirty percent gain here if you get out on the first dip. And if you able to hold a little bit longer you get a good old 50% gain here or a couple dollars per share let's look at the bad trade I did today BBI no middle finger to BBI it messed me up today but it's alright it was a quick mover here and would have been a little difficult to get out so I saw that it had support here pre-market let's look here had some nice activity going on here thought I was gonna bobble around the 237 area ended up going a little bit lower and I got in at 232 right around here bobbled up and down on me had my 5% stop loss set 220 around that area where I took the low of the candle so 227 5% stop it's about 215 216 really had it set at like 217 I wanted to get out ended up getting out at 215 though right at almost at the bottom of the candle and that's how they get you. They buy up that 5% and they wrote it up higher for a 10% gain. Missed out on that, but overall, the stock just kept continuing down. And we're looking for those good 30% gainers, 40% gainers there, not just this slow stuff here. So, EDSA would have definitely been the stock to try to jump into by the buy up that support. We have some movement here on BIOC. You can see here I got a lot of lines marked out here, potential support, resistant lines. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that out. It's a little little noisy there. And BIOC, I saw that it has support here. You see I had an alert set, thinking it would go a bit lower. My alerts did not get triggered all day. Did anybody have any problem with that today? Like all none of my alerts got triggered. And then if I changed the ticker that I was currently watching, it would just go black for the rest of the day so I don't know what was going on I guess f every time the uh, spy in the overall market gets a lot of activities probably going down today let's see oh it was rising up but it went had a low here but I guess there was a lot of volume here at the open there's a couple million shares uh, I don't know everything was real slow real slow today again let's look at BIOC here I saw that it had support here around this area 62 cents I saw the bobble around that area I got in at 63 cents a little high here a little high missed out here on a good per percentage 1% you know just a little bit better buy ended up selling pretty good sold here at 941 0.677 7% gain there would have been a little bit hard to hold in there for that bigger move there, but if you know how Biago C moves, you know that's how it likes to move. It likes to do a lot of faking moves pretty slow. Even this took so, took a while just to curl down. I mean, he had plenty of time to sell, plenty.
plenty of time to buy. The IOC is just one of those slow movers, but does those nice, nice easy percentage gain, 12% gain there. Usually does a little bit more, but we'll be watching BIOC maybe for the next couple of days here. All right, let's look at the overall market like we was just a minute ago and see what it's doing on this daily chart. Curling big time from this resistance area here. And we got some, some decent support here at 292, 288 area, 292, 288 area. Some, decent support so let's let's just watch it set an alert see what how it reacts to what we think is support maybe this is a better, better area of support here 275 let's just watch it all right that is it for me you guys hope you guys are out there trading safely out there trading with a plan uh you know reach out to the comments if you have any questions or want to discuss how you trade it for the day that's always free for you to do all right, you guys, hit that like button for me if you would, if you like this video, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Peace.